God bless you. This is Elder Lenore Artis. Um, we are on the uh, flip side, other side, of one of the greatest celebrations in the Christian calendar, which is Pentecost Sunday. But uh, after we have received power, the dunamis of God, the power of God, the might of God, uh, the next question becomes, what do we do now? Because any time power is received, along with power comes responsibility, comes accountability, comes uh, uh, duties. You cannot have power because if there is no uh, teaching with or any uh, accountability or if there's no um, direction, you'll receive something uh, that's supposed to be used to be a blessing, to be a gift, to help and without proper instruction. It can be abused, misused, and um, can be lost. And you don't want to ever gain and attain the authority of God, the anointing of God, the blessing of God, the indwelling presence of God, and then uh, don't handle it as this sacred priceless, precious gift of God. Uh, as we walk in uh, the same level of solemnity and sacrifice and uh, sanctification that it took to obtain the blessed gift of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, with fire, with demonstration, it wasn't just sent so that we could be, uh, we could have great praise and just dance. And trust me, I'm a praiser. I'm a dancer before the Lord. But our main assignment is to be witnesses. That means that we're going to be witnesses in our family. Our family ought to feel the power of Pentecost. We ought to pray more. We ought to walk in greater peace. We ought to make wiser decisions. We ought to love more. Pentecost, it ought to go into our, uh, our neighborhood, amongst our neighbors. When people get in trouble, they ought to be looking for us to pray for them to bring peace to difficult situations. In our communities, we ought to be witnesses of ethics and integrity. We ought to be healers, mind, body, spirit, soul, emotions. We ought to make people feel better. We ought to be people that people, uh, young people want to follow want to be like, that we are um, people, men and women in business, that we pay bills. Pentecost power makes you responsible, makes you accountable. It gives you um, grace, gives you patience. It makes you a go-getter. You can't experience Pentecost and be lazy. Pentecost is not just for us to share inside in the house, but we ought to be affecting change in the marketplace. People ought to be looking for us and um, expecting the best from us. We ought to be blessing, helping showing love people should be better in our shadows 
in our presence because his presence is on the inside. Pentecost is not just for one day. The same white that we wore to symbolize purity. We got to walk in purity. Speak pure words. Think pure thoughts. Pentecost. The church should grow. We ought to be concerned about souls. Teaching people that they are. One day you're going to have to stand before God. And meet God. And give an account of every action. Every thought. Every deed. Pentecost. Doing things to help people that don't have Pentecost power ought to make us love more give more want to do more make everybody around us as blessed as we possibly can be the power of Pentecost should be a desire within us to go into hospitals to senior citizens homes and uh, sometimes wash hair, sometimes comb hair. Pentecost, be witnesses in church, out of church, in our families, on our jobs, the power of Pentecost. What do we do now? We set the world ablaze with love, with joy, with anointing. We're witnesses of Jesus Christ and his matchless eternal love. We tell people that no matter what they've done, they can be forgiven. No matter what they've done, if they ask the Lord, he will forgive. He will save, he will set free, he will make free, he will keep free. Pentecost, the power of God dwelling not just over us, fire not just sitting on top of our head, but going down into our souls, coming up not just in different language but loving everybody of every language telling the world that Jesus loves them Pentecost we dance because we're redeemed we dance because we're, we are uh, restored we dance because we're going out to the world to tell the world tell a dying world about a living Savior, Pentecost, witness, make well, make welcome, Pentecost, the power of God to heal, to make whole, to make happy, to bring joy, to wipe tears, to walk with those that are going through the valley. Pentecost, better saints, better citizens, better people, Pentecost, I love you, God bless, walk in the power.